What's up guys, I'm Tash and this is Tash Tech and this is another edition of What's in the Cupboard? You get a cupboard and you nobody gets a cupboard. Just me, alright? I have the cupboard. But you can win the stuff I give, not everybody, it's just one of you. And in today's edition, Liz is going to find something out of the cupboard, that's how it works. I go on, on spending sprees at least once a month and I buy all this amazing stuff. If you add in, it's an amazing, interesting stuff, let me put it interesting. And Liz goes into the cupboard, she digs something out, she gives it to me and we talk about it. What have we got today, Liz? Say something, Liz. She doesn't even talk. She, she's a mute. She's from uh, Hunger Games. Had a, had a tongue cut out for disobeying her master. Okay, this is an interesting one. I like this. It's a OnePlus 2. Yeah, you guys remember I did the video about the OnePlus 1? One? Uh, no, I actually didn't do a video about the OnePlus I used the OnePlus 1. I think I, I, I put it on my social media back then. Uh, I did one plus one. They're my favorite phones by far. By any phone, you can give me like the most expensive phone in the world, and I'll take a one plus over it any day. So I purchased a one plus two. They're very difficult to get, as I'm sure you know. You have to get an invite and all the rest of that jazz. I can get them pretty quickly because I'm Tash. Yeah, that's cool, right? But then if I get it, that means you can get. It. Here it is, red box. Okay, there's one plus two on it. The box is a little bit damaged slightly because I think it's been sitting in our cupboard for a long time. Um, I have opened it already and Liz has used it and I've used it as well. And um, yeah, I, I, the reason I don't want to do just an unboxing, I want to just give you guys a, a few uh, pointers or tips on, on how I experienced it. So I've got the top off. <laughs> don't I always? Here's the phone, it's got the little cover on there. Okay, so the first thing that's different from the OnePlus 2 uh, that we can differentiate from the OnePlus 1 is that the fingerprint scanner, that's the main thing. I've got a fingerprint scanner here, was the, the old one had a button and I did like the button. Did it have a, I cannot remember if it had a button, I think the button was on the side, but I think I'm used to like the Samsungs now. So it's got a button on the side, it also has a lock button here, which I have three settings on it, so you can have um, like vibrate, silent and normal. Okay, push the button to unlock and we've got the uh, fingerprint here. Asking me for a pin now. Okay, so <laughs> the screen's a little bit bigger. Um, the camera's a lot better. One of the main things where I like the OnePlus 2, dual SIM. Yeah, it has a SIM card tray, which is which is pretty cool. It's very interesting. You can either put two SIM cards in there, or you can put one SIM card and an SD card. Which is which is really which is really cool. I'm gonna pop it out here and show you guys. Okay, we've got the charger, but we can't use that here. Cables are nice. I love the ribbon cables that they give you. Doesn't have does it have a SIM ejection tool? Just check for the one in the honor box there. There's one there. Getting us some ejection tool. There you go. Comes with one, but obviously Liz has lost it. Okay, what am I missing here? Where's the SIM card? <laughs> you have to open it up. Oh. Yeah, one. sorry, okay, this one, the, the one plus one also the back cover comes off, but this one's a lot easier than the one plus one. It's because you have to open it up to put the, uh, the SIM card and everything in there, but it's pretty easy to get the back cover off. They have it in a couple of um, colors, actually, they have it in uh, rose quartz and Kevlar. Kevlar's pretty cool, but I think they're just back covers or they're just skins, I'm not too sure. Okay, so there it is. We've got the back cover off and now if you just slide the SIM card out, you can see there's a little tray here. You know, focus. So there's a little tray. You can basically put two SIM cards in or one SIM card and an SD card, which is really cool. Okay, so Liz just has one SIM card in there. But I, I want to steal this phone away from her because of the fact that I have um, an AfriHost system SIM card now, which I have data on, so I'm splitting my data because you guys know MTN and Vodacom and these guys, they charge you an arm and a leg and they're ripping you off, basically. I, I'm not afraid to say it. They're ripping you off for your data. Um, and I'm not happy with them, so 
I'm going to keep the number because it's such a schlep, especially me running a couple businesses and things like that to change the phone number. So I'm going to keep the number with that SIM card. But I've got an Afrihost system SIM card now, which is 10 around a month, and I get like 3 gigs a month on there. And I'll get my data from my phone going across that, and everything else will come across on, the, uh, on my normal SIM card, my phone calls and things like that. My WhatsApps, but the data will go across the other SIM card, so that's cool. Dual SIM card phones are in right now. You need to get one because the the, the mobile providers are ripping you off. That's along the short run. I know Afrios is MTN, but they're giving you their own bandwidth, which makes it a lot more convenient and a lot more uh, cost-effective for you. So I'm not I'm not punting. They're not paying me to say this. I'm just I'm I'm just alerting you guys that you need to get a dual SIM card because it's going to be a lot more cost-effective for you. Uh, moving back to the phone. Uh, that's the biggest reason that I would get one. The second biggest is that it's the signal on it is amazing. Um, I have lots of issues with my signal and every time I look at Liz's, because Liz is using it and it's got full signal in places where I have less than one bar, sometimes I don't even have signal. She has full signal constantly um, and full LTE as well, which is amazing. I mean, you know, obviously if you're out in, in the middle of Kronstadt in the farm somewhere, you might not get LTE, but generally you'll get LTE wherever and the, that's the one thing about this phone is I don't know how they did the antennas on here but it's amazing. The antennas are amazing. Um, the other thing, the fingerprint is a bit annoying because I prefer a nice little button and on the old OnePlus you had the, the buttons at the bottom here, the back button and the home button and the launch button and um, now it, it doesn't have it on here. So you have to move the buttons, you can activate it in your, in your Samsung, in your Android settings and it puts it just above the, the launcher. Okay, so you got those buttons there, but I like the full screen. So I liked it when the buttons were on the phone itself. The, the third thing I like about it is the Cyanogen. It's running Cyanogen, full on Cyanogen, and it's amazing. Cyanogen is one of the best operating systems or the best launches for an operating system I've ever seen. Okay, um, there's just like no going back on that. Um, if you haven't used Cyanogen, go check it out if you have Android. Um, they have a lot of launches for a lot of, a lot of devices. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Go check it out because once you go sign it, I can guarantee you're not going to go back. The other downside, so I'm doing one up, one down. The downside is that it came with a lot of bloatware on it for some reason. I mean, Liz was saying there was stuff like, what is it? You see, there was APIS um, battery, DU battery meter, and uh, UC monitor, UC meter, mini browser, or something like that. So we had to go in there and strip all that stuff out um, because it was actually hijacking the phone in terms of advertising. We had to strip all that stuff out and we basically had to install an ESET antivirus on there and scan everything and remove it. Um, well, ESET helped quite a lot. Uh, we, we got a lot of the, the stuff cleaned out and we, we put a lot of uh, proper verified apps on there. But once we did that, I mean, it was, it's amazing. I mean, my, my OnePlus One had the same issue and it, it takes five minutes to fix. And But once it's working, it's amazing. Um, Anything you want to contribute to this? In terms of the buttons, um, you can have the buttons at the bottom, but then you can't go to your yeah. screen. So like, like I said, going back to the buttons with the launch buttons, you had the back button, the home button, the launch button, and on the OnePlus One, and that was at the bottom on the actual hardware of the phone. Uh, you could move it onto the phone, which actually you can do on any Android operating system phone. Um, but this one doesn't have the option on the bottom. So if you had that turned off, you couldn't go back. There was no back button. You had to have that turned on and on screen or to go back into, in order to exit, uh, which is kind of stupid. Um, but that's, it is what it is. Um, it's still a good phone. Uh, you know, I, I think they've actually opened it up for manufacturing purposes now. They have one, another one out called the OnePlus X. OnePlus X is very sleek. I'd like to get one for myself. Um, this is a six, this is a 32 gig. I think this is a 32 gig phone, it's a 16 gig, which is a problem because you can only use one SIM card or you can put an SD card in or two SIM cards. You can't do much with 16 gigs, but like I was saying, I don't have much on my phone anyway. I have one or two photos. I keep my photos on my phone, on my, my, my decent cameras. I keep my music on my iPod. Uh, <laughs> I said the I word. Yeah, I have an iPod, which I hardly ever use. But, um, you know, I keep it, or if I do, if I do use my music, I don't keep it on my phone, I stream it. Which is kind of weird, because I stream it from SoundCloud, I have my lists and everything, my, my, my YouTube Red playlists all set up. So I don't really keep music nowadays. But yeah, so 16 gigs is pretty good, but I would get a 64, you're not going to use it, but you know, you could use it. Um, yeah, and that's, that's all I have to say, that's a real watered down description of the OnePlus 2. It's amazing, go get it, There's the, the downsides do not outweigh the upsides, there's a lot of good in it, it's an amazing phone. 
It really is. I don't know how they're doing it, but it's really good. Sign off real quick. Uh, I'm Tash. This is Tash Tech. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, leave a comment below. All right. Subscribe to my channel so I can keep bringing these videos to you and keep bringing these lovely devices to you. And um, check out my social media, links in the description. I've got a Facebook, yeah, I have Facebook. I have Instagram, I know it's so cool, I have Instagram. And I have a blog as well that I try to update every now and then. And I give the stuff away, so subscribe, comment again, and you might be winning this stuff. Thanks very much. I'm not giving away this though. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to get another one, which I might give away. I'm trying to get a OnePlus X, but I'm not giving away this one because Liz is using it, she needs it, yeah. She's hijacking it. Oh man, I'm hijacking. I have to say, I'm hijacking it, but she's hijacking.